Hey guys, Dave Narona here and welcome to the 2024 sled season. I am super excited. Not only do I have a brand new product today to show off, but I'm so excited for winter and I hope you are too. We're going to get really involved in this all new Climb Atlas 14 vest pack, the first of its kind from Climb in an Avi pack and uh, we're going to get right into it. So you might want to grab a beer, sit down, Pay attention and let's get through it. So this is it, the all new Atlas 14 liter Avalanche Climb backpack in a vest form. So one of the great things about the vest is that it distributes weight really well. So there's things on the front, things on the back, the way it sits on your body feels like you're not wearing a pack at all. The other great thing that they've done is they've really worked on making this pack super lightweight while giving you good protection in a minimalist way. It also has some awesome features up front here that keeps everything tight and simple to your body. Everything you're gonna need for a day out on the mountain and anything else you can keep on your snowmobile. So let's get at it. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about the sizing. So there's two sizes, a small, medium, that would travel up a little bit to a large, and then a large to three times extra large. Those are the two. So I would be in a small, but you can make that large, extra large, actually come down, almost down, I would say, to a medium. So one of the cool things about that and why that's important is because when we talk about the protection, if you want a little bit more protection, and say you're an average guy, maybe 5'8 to 5'10, 5'11, you could go on either side. If you want a little less protection, lighter weight, you can go to the small, medium, kind of large, or if you want more body protection because it's gonna sit down a little bit lower on you and it's gonna give you more protection, you can go into that large up to three times extra large. It comes with basically PE board with an EVA molded backing. So it has super great protection through your kidneys right on up through the whole pack. Very, very cool. The other thing that's really neat is, of course, I got my radio here, my Baofeng radio coming right out and attaches. It's super simple and nice and clean. It also has, of course, a beacon pocket right here. So look at that, in seconds, my beacon is out. It's got a clip here as well as a buckle, so it's easy to put back in, and that way it makes it nice and easy in the morning for you to check your buddies, make sure their beacons are working properly, goes back in its home, and stays there until you need it. Very, very cool. It has one more pocket down here that I would keep uh, something like my Zolio in, or if you want to carry some extra batteries, and it's got a big, huge goggle wipe, which is really, really cool. Also, it has a D-ring for, um, for your key, for your DS key that you can shut off your sled. So quick, easy attachment. You're not searching it for your jacket or your one piece underneath the pack. So super cool. It also has your, um, your AVI deployment handle is on the right side, but you can move it to the left side and run your radio on the other side. It's super quick and easy if you want to take it off um, at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day just by bending it back, and it tucks right in here to this zipper pocket right here. So look at that. And now when you're traveling to the mountains in your car, you can have it away, so it's not gonna get hooked on anything, as well as it's super easy when you get to, to fold it up and hook it, and it has all these adjustments to put it on your body, roughly chest height, so you can easily grab it with both hands, right there. This other pocket also has a whistle on, that was kind of pathetic, let's do that again, a whistle on it, as well so it has literally everything that you need it's got a storm patch right here with ykk zip so super durable and then when we open it you can see that eva padding so super protective and it wraps all the way around this extra piece into your kidneys and of course we've got our interior uh, waist strap with of course our crotch strap that comes right in the middle so super easy to uh, um, hook this up at the beginning of the day. I don't know about you, but now lately, I don't really take my Avi Pop pack off for the whole day. I have my shovel and probe and all that stuff in there. Um, usually maybe at lunch, but I'll get my friend to grab my sandwich. 
but most of my stuff lives on my sled. My secondary shovel and probe are on my deep snow pro bag. So that's the shovel and probe I would use any other time. Only getting this is if I were to get separated from my snowmobile. So the pack really stays on my body pretty much the whole time I'm out for the day. Now we're gonna take this, this off and basically have a look at the back of the pack. Now they went really minimalist, which I agree with and I think it's great. If you wanna carry a ton of stuff, this is probably not the pack for you. And Klein makes other packs, which we'll get into in other videos in the Atlas 14 regular Avi pack, as well as the 24 liter Atlas uh, Avi pack. So we'll talk about those in another video. So moving from top to bottom, we've got a goggle pocket right here, which is uh, perfect for a pair of goggles. You can even put a pair of sunglasses underneath in there. It's not giving you lots of space. One good spacious pocket here that again, you could put a mountain lab headlamp, a tool kit if you wanted to do that. My spare key would live in there as well. And these red buckles here, what's really cool is that you can put the quick deploying probe that uh, you saw last year coming on the, um, on the Atlas 24 or 26, you can actually uh, purchase that piece separately and it attaches here. So now your probe is on the outside, it's fully encased and it's one clip and your probe drops out. So it makes it really quick access at getting your probe and it gives you a little bit more space inside the bag. Now, previous, the Aspect 16 had two pockets, one for your gear and one for your Avalanche gear. It is now in all in one. So when we open up this, and look how this opens up like a coffin style and drops down like so. So here we have our emergency information, uh, things that uh, you may forget if you're, hopefully you don't, but if you do, you can uh, resource to uh, on checking for a buried victim. And it's got a space here for your probe as well as your shovel handle and then shovel would fit in here as well. And then when we open this up, this is your E2 avalanche system right here. We'll turn it on just by pulling this down and pulling that open. So this is a capacitor airbag. There's no battery. Um, all you do is charge the capacitor and you can do that using a USB, which I have right here, a USB cord, and or two AA batteries. Now I'm gonna explain this system a little bit. So basically what you would do is you could, um, when you charge up the backpack, it'll show three lights here, red, yellow, or green. If you turn it on and they're green, you're good to go. If, you're, if it's yellow, it will deploy the airbag, but it's time for a charge. And if it's red, it's a no-go, you gotta charge it. So what you would do in that case is, if you're at home, you would just charge it with a USB. However, you can also, right here, put two AA batteries. And what those do is they keep the, ch the capacitor charged up. So I'll give you a scenario last year, got stuck really badly in the steep trees, pin and wiggle, set off the airbag uh, with the with hitting the thing on my handlebars. And so what I did is I shut the bag off, folded the airbag up and, uh, and then turned it back on. And those two batteries will recharge the capacitor in roughly 30 to 40 minutes. So in the time that it took me to get my sled dug out by myself and moved around and all through the trees was close to that time. And when I turned it back, when I, when I went back, the light was green and I was good to go. So you can actually do that on the hill. If you have those two double A's, they'd never drain setting the airbag off. They're only um, increasing the, the battery power in the capacitor. So these actually last a long time. I leave my batteries in for probably a month and then I just switch them out and use them in something else and put new, new batteries in. I also do carry two extra in the bottom of my pack just in case I arrived on the hill and it wasn't charged and the batteries were discharged. I got two spares to do that. But that's really last resort. That's if you haven't checked it at the hotel, you haven't checked it at home or again in the truck when you should have turned it on and realized that and you can have those batteries in your car. So it's a really awesome system that's super light. And it has a digital display that shows the power, how much battery power is 
on your USB, that's the one at the top, and the bottom is your battery power. So very, very awesome system. Now one of the biggest questions I've had is how much can you put in this pack? It is, um, it is only uh, 14 liters. So I've actually taken some time and put everything that would go into this pack right here beside me. So as you can see, um, on this side, I have uh, two big water bottles. I don't carry water in my backpack, but this just signify if you got a giant sub or a burrito, or for those big guys out there, you probably got one of each. A radio, of course, my shovel, my probe, my Mountain Lab 2000 lumen light, a Zolio satellite communicator, those two AA batteries, spare key, a toolkit, which I would usually keep on my sled, but if you want to keep that in your pack, that easily fit in there, as well as this small down jacket and a pair of goggles. That's a lot of stuff, more than I need to carry. A lot of this stuff will live on my sled, only the emergency stuff will stay with me that I need on my backpack. Of course, my probe and shovel being mandatory there, but my Zolio, my beacon's already in here. Um, like I said, I keep my sandwich in my pack, but anything else, water and food related that isn't gonna get banged around in my tunnel bag, lives on my sled. So you can actually fit quite a bit of stuff in here, and this was not overstuffing the pack. So I'm gonna put the pack back on and I'll talk a little bit about um, putting it on and having the sides here nice and comfortable. And we'll get that crotch strap so we do it properly. It's really important that you wear your crotch strap because in a big avalanche, the pack could be pulled over your head. Uh, your arms could be pulled up and it could be pulled off you. It's really unlikely in a vest, but you still wanna have your crotch strap down up. And then it's, as you can see, super easy with gloved hands. This is very easy to do. And then of course this um, protection here keeps the ice out of your zipper. So you, at the end of the day, on those deep pow days that we all love, you're gonna be able to open this with ease. And now what we'll do is we'll take this out, our handle, and we're gonna actually slide it back in the piece here that I had. This is a, uh, a little bit more challenging when you're doing it here, but that's how easy it is to put that back in. And like I said, you can put it anywhere along the way. Now, one of the things that I always talk about when you practice with your airbag and what's so great about this pack is once you get it, you can set it off and practice with it. But one tip is before you do that, open up your airbag in the back, just unzip it, pull it out, and you'll actually see how it's all folded together. There are crease lines in there, so it makes it easy to do once it's deployed, but you can have a look at how they've done it from the factory, and that way it's much easier to remember after you've set off your airbag. And of course, if we ever get into it, If we ever get into an avalanche situation, you can see how easy with either hand that I can deploy my airbag and that I have full visibility. The other great thing that they've done is that you can see they pointed in to where my head is. So if you were to go down under something or be uh, buried by some slough at the end, people are going to be able to know exactly where your head is. They're gonna dig for that area first. So it's really cool what the Alpride system has done and paired into this Climb Avi Atlas 14 vest pack. Super awesome. Of course, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments before, below. If I don't have the answer, I'll make sure I find the answer uh, for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. That's the shameless plug, but it helps me create more videos for you. And really the idea is to bring these videos to show you all the things that are out there available for you. And then you get to choose how you want to spend your hard earned money. So my goal is to really just bring value to you and showing all these amazing products and show you how they work and so that it makes it easier for you to use and you know how to use them better when you're out on the hill. So we'll see you out on the snow.